three major Wall Street banks that all fall in around that massive number of five trillion dollars as the predicted hit to the global economy. These banks saying that'll be played out in a hit to growth over the next two years. Citi, JP Morgan and Morgan Stanley saying that they don't see the global economy return to its pre-crisis trajectory until 2022. And that's around the same timetable that we saw for recovery, at least on a global basis, from the financial crisis just over a decade ago. What's different about this crisis, though, is the speed at which it's hitting the global economy. We know the drops in growth have been particularly dramatic. We had uh, figures from the French Central Bank yesterday showing the worst quarter of growth in the first three months of this year since 19. 19- 45. Uh, and this global economic hit is set to be absolutely massive, despite the efforts being made by governments and central banks by pumping billions and billions into the economy to try and reduce the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on the economy. That's the private sector view from those three banks. We'll get an updated assessment from the International Monetary Fund next week when it publishes its updated uh, World Economic Outlook. And ahead of that publication, the anti-poverty charity Oxfam warning that half a billion people risk falling into poverty because of the coronavirus pandemic. Six to eight percent of the global population at risk uh, of falling into poverty, according to the charity's calculations. That's if uh, dramatic action isn't taken to support poorer countries and the most vulnerable in society. The charity calling for a whole series of measures to be taken by authorities, including direct cash payments to the most vulnerable in society uh, and the poorest in the world. Uh, They want that to be funded by new taxes, wealth taxes and taxes on major profits as a way of funding this. Uh, the anti-poverty charity putting that message out ahead of the meetings of the World Bank and International Monetary Fund taking place virtually next week.